Hello, everybody, and welcome back to week 14 of this two-point conversation, Tecmo Super Bowl season, using the Giants this week, week 14, going up against the Bengals, uh, still undefeated, uh, feeling good, the offense has been very stale, the Oh, look at that. Just one division. Big news there. Awesome. Awesome. I will take it. So now we are division champs. Um, is the undefeated season still important? Uh, at this point... Oh, Dave Meggett returns after getting injured last week. That's a bonus. Um, but like I said, with the vision, I clinched it. I guess home field advantage. But <laughs> where do we go from there? You know, uh, this is a fun game with fun challenges and everything else. But after that. Oh, yeah, because they switched everything. Uh, stellar, okay. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. After that last year's uh, defeat. Oh, Mark Ingram. Oh, this is where you got to watch out for David Fulcher. But after last year playing with the La Raiders... We go check out that AFC Championship game. That was such a heartbreaking loss. Um, it was really sad. I had the Bills on the ropes. It was an unfortunate. I don't know what it was. <laughs> it just wasn't good. Um, it wasn't even anything that I could control. So I think my my, my thing is to to the Super Bowl. I know I got some, uh, what am I going to say here? Uh, you know, a Stephen Baker challenge. I'd like to stay undefeated. Oh, Icky Woods. He could be gone. But, getting to the Super Bowl and winning it is an awfully big goal. There we go, Lawrence Taylor. So I think that's where the direction of this team is pretty much going to go now uh, with the stale. Yes, I would consider oh, James Brooks is so good too. Oh, man. Might hear a coffee cup hitting. Pretty miss pretty early in the morning. Sent the kids off to school. So, uh, got some time. Decided to play. Oh, I forgot to flip Baker in. Oh, who is that? Oh, jeez. Oh, they fumbled. Oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even realize. All right. Nice fumble. Last up, they're looking good. Touchdown? Nothing. Ready, down, hunt. Let's get Bake up top. Definitely David Fulcher in this game. Ready, down, hunt, hunt. First down. Not bad there. Just trying to get Ready, yards. Down, Move that ball. Ah, 
Asa's got some wheels. Ready, down, For what I think he would have, he got some wheels. Just walks him right there. Touchdown, Otis Anderson. Hoss may be like, my guy. I took, took Sims out. Sims wasn't playing that good. Uh, I believe he was at bad condition. So definitely got to get him out. Get the new quarterback in. And this is one of those few teams where, maybe other than the 49ers, where you can switch quarterbacks and still play at a high level. Oh my goodness. What are we doing, guys? Okay. So let's do the delay. Yes. Oh, Boomer's got it. Boomer. That's just reading defenses. You see him in the shotgun. You know it's either going to be a pass. Or it's going to be a right handoff, which it was, but I got tripped up at the line. Icky Woods is about to go do the Icky Shuffle. This is probably the worst my defense has played in a number of weeks. So, no stale offensive line. Hey, but division's wrapped up. And I think if the Bengals beat me, this is going to be my team next year. They're the only team in the AFC North I have left on the schedule. My man Bake. That's what I'm talking about. Boss to Bake. Steven Baker, the touchdown maker. And the kick is good. Time defensive stop. Maybe score or score another score another touchdown. And then after that, it's a game of uh, very much ins insurance. Nice. Could be what I'm looking for. Not a whole lot of time left on the clock. But maybe I could get the first punt return of the season. Mr. Dave Nugget. Should have just ran it with him. It's halftime either way. Uh, they're getting the ball back. It's 24 14. Defense definitely is not playing up to par as what they normally would be, so. Uh, that's something I gotta look at. Uh, it's a long season. It's a long season. 
So far it's been a good season, but it's been a long season already. And this is only week, yeah, 14. I see, I've already forgotten the week. But division though, I think I won division quicker than I did with the Raiders. Nice fumble, pick it up, pick it up, don't let a bangle pick it up, and we let a bangle pick it up. That delayed handoff is very, very delayed. Oh. Trying to dive there with Lawrence. With some LT. He got blown up at the point. Oh, jeez. I mean, I do have, like, the worst run defense in the league. Just got a whole lot worse. There we go. Right, so pass. Pepper. There we go. Pepper snuck right in. Is this delayed or a pass? It's a pass. Nope, nope. Yes. Gotta get a big block here. Big, 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 big block. Miss. Oh. Okay, well, at least it wasn't a touchdown, so. Trying to look at the positive. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not the best player at this game. Uh, Breaking tackle. Oh, he's looking like QB Eagles out there. Ready, down. My man Haas. Have the lead. Might just work this clock. Oh, yeah. but it's a lead so like I said just kind of work the clock should have let the clock run down a little bit longer there. got a man wide open Ingram yes Jeff Hot Stutler has been a a spark to the offense words I don't think many people would have thought were would ever be all in the same sentence <laughs> but my man Hostetler is there okay so next season will be the uh will be the AFC Central Johnson will be the AFC Central. Will be taking a team from there. Not really quite sure which team I'll be taking. But I think that's the fun part is coming up with the yes right there. Everson Walls is uh, coming up with a new team, playing with that team, see what they can do. Like growing up, I didn't play much with this Giants team, so I'm a Dolphins fan, so it was a lot of 
tossing it up to Dan Marino. <laughs> Got the lead up by 11. Put, put. Boom. I get touchdown. I'm Stetler. I do believe he's excellent conditioning when I talk about this if you never play the game. It's very advanced for its time. <laughs> Considering this is uh, came out in 1991. Uh, you know, players get fatigued. They get tired, but then they bounce back, and it, and it affects their gameplay, how they play. Like, when Lawrence Taylor was excellent condition, if you didn't watch any of the early video, uh, go watch that one. Definitely, I forgot what week, but against the Redskins, I mean, they couldn't even get a pass off. That's how fast Lawrence Taylor was. But that's what I'm talking about when I when I go into conditions. Oh no! Is that downtown Eddie Brown? Yes, that's what you need to do. You always attack the quarterback on the flea flicker, because that way. Oh, Eric Howard, can I put you on running back? Um, that way when they toss the ball, and I get the toss back, there's nobody there, and they automatically toss it. So, it's, it's like an automatic fumble every single time. Did I get it? Does it really matter? <laughs> uh, game's almost over. Third and one. I don't think I ran the flea flicker at all this game. Still got the first down with Hostetler. Going in. 35-17. Uh, Brooks torched me, but Hostetler was the guy. I'm sorry I'm talking a lot about Hostetler. He was a pretty big factor. Wow. Uh, there's a difference there in quarterbacks. Um, I mean, pretty much same, same old, same old here. The offense was just very, very stale. So let's get through this week 14. So after we get through week 14, we only have three weeks left in the regular season. Already know a punch the ticket to the playoffs. So have the San Francisco 49ers winning the NFC West. Oh. This is the part where I'm probably a little bit more silent than normal. Normally I talk through these. Because I think you're gonna, we're gonna start seeing a lot of division winners these past couple of weeks. Nothing there, so we're in week 15, and it looks like we're playing the Eagles. All right, so we're taking out QB Eagles. And after that, it's Washington in week 16, and finish out the season. against the Oilers. So we have not played everybody in the NFC, or in, I'm sorry, in the AFC Central, but let's go check out these standings. Uh, you got the Indianapolis Colts at 10-3 and three in the AFC East. Uh, AFC Central, you got the Houston Oilers, who've already clinched division. And in the AFC West, the Denver Broncos at 9-4. and four. NFC East, New York Giants have already clinched division. NFC Central, oh, three-way tie between the Vikings, Packers, and Bears, all at seven and six. Looks like that's going to be a fight to the end. NFC West, San Francisco 49ers win with 
That's crazy. Eight, four, and one. That's how bad that division is. So let's get into team rankings. Your number one offense is the Houston Oilers. Your number one defense is the New York Giants. NFL leaders, passing, Warren Moon. He's number one passing rate, rated a passer, passing yards, Warren Moon. Pass, TD passes, Phil Sims still at 39. Slava. But once again, he did not play last game. Receiving, Sterling Sharp, 60 catches. That's pretty good. Yards, Stephen Baker. A lot of yards there. <laughs> and touchdowns, Stephen Baker with 23. I think that's almost, that's tie the record. Uh, number one rusher is Thurman Thomas. And your touchdown leader for rushing is Tie a three way tie between Ernest Biner, John L. Williams, and Albert Bentley with 15 apiece. Interceptions Johnson for the Oilers. So, looks like I'm gonna have that last game, it's gonna be good. Pick six is still your, your usual suspects there. Sacks, I think we all know who that is. Lawrence Taylor with 50. Uh, Bruce Smith has moved into into the rankings there at 17, but that's, that's quite the disperse or gap between those two. Sorry. Uh, any punt returns for a touchdown? Nope. And did we get another kick return for a touchdown? Nope. Still Dave Maggot. So there we go. There we are. Uh, next week, week 15, going up against uh, Randall Cunningham and the, or I'm sorry, QB Eagles and the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, should be a pretty good matchup as well. Let's hope Lawrence Taylor, what's Lawrence Taylor at? Good, good condition. Good condition. Average. Good. Where's Eric Howard at? Oh, see, Eric Howard was at. Excellent. That's why he was like running a million miles per hour. Still at excellent for Jeff Hostetler. Average for Phil Sims. But we're going to take them on and see if we can keep this undefeated season al alive. And with that being said, on behalf of the Two Point Conversation team, I'm Andrew Lenz, and the Two Point Conversation is good. <laughs>